Namaste yogis, Joelle Sligos here. In this short tutorial, I'm going to break down flip the dog. Flip the dog into a wild thing and flip the dog into a wheel variation. Please make sure you're nicely warmed up, um, have done some back bends and you know, feel, feel ready for it. Um, if you want, you can do some of the practices uh, on my YouTube channel just to, um, to prepare yourself for this tutorial. So let's start in downward facing dog. Bring your hands to the top of the mat. Down dog can be nice to start from a plank pose and then lift your tailbone up to the sky. You'll notice that when we do a flip the dog into the two variations, being wild thing or a wheel variation, the feet, the feet really are different from one to the other. So let's start with our right leg up to the sky. Open the hip and stack the right hip on top of the left. You can bend the knee and then look under your left armpit if you can see that foot. Hello foot. <laughs> and then you can bring that foot slowly down to the floor. Notice how my left leg stays straight how my right knee is bent. It's the big toe, the ball of the big toe that presses into the floor. And then from there you can lift up, reach the arm up to the sky or even bring it all the way overhead. Active legs, you can even look up to the sky or look towards your right hand. One leg is straight, one is bent and bring nice pressure into the ball of that right toe. All right, let's come back to downward facing dog. I'll show you a flip the dog to a wheel variation. I'll do it on the right side as well. I'd recommend you to maybe first flip the dog on the left to wild thing and then do um, this, this side. So I like to come all the way I'm going to lift my right leg all the way to the right side of the mat, just so my wheel ends up on my mat. My left hand is grounded, my right hand is on the floor, grounded off the mat. Right leg lifts. Now, because I know I'm going to be flipping into a wheel variation, I'll need more rotation in my left shoulder. So personally, I prefer to already turn this left hand a little out to the left top corner of the mat, just to create some space in the shoulder. Notice the difference with the feet work. So the right knee bends again, I'm opening up the hip, I identify that right foot, and there you go. You flip, but this is here, you take your time. So my hand is already turned out a little more, and the feet become parallel to each other. Hang out a little bit, check if your left shoulder is fine there. From there, you can press into the feet and it's the strength of the legs that gives you the lift. You can come all the way up. Maybe rearrange the feet, they're parallel. Stay here, look up to the ceiling. If you feel ready to continue, look down towards the floor so you actually start looking at the right hand and that right hand comes all the way to the floor. Once the right hand is on the floor, lift the left, turn into a wheel variation. Quite a strong transition. To flip out of it, it's the last hand that turned. That was my left hand, turned back, weight into that left hand, slowly turn back, back into downward facing dog. Let's take a little break into embryo pose, check in with our breath, check in with our shoulders. Ah, nice sigh out of the mouth. Give it a try on the other side. And if you have any questions, or maybe you want me to break down other transitions or yoga poses, please feel free to send me a message. Thank you for joining. Good luck with it. Have fun. See you next time.